Just over 50 years ago, a great tragedy occurred, followed by an overwhelming response to the human suffering never before seen on television. As a Nigerian immigrant in Canada, I am proud to present this truly remarkable Canadian story that shows how my birth and adopted countries are deeply connected. How did one of Canada's finest hours of bravery, selflessness and humanitarianism get left in the past and forgotten? Let's do a quick recap on that, shall we? Nigeria owes its existence to the partition of Africa at Berlin Conference in 1884-1885. They simply amalgamated the territory, not amalgamating the people. The British introduced divisive tendencies, what is called divide and rule. On the 6th of July, 1967, Nigeria went to war on itself. I know you have seen a lizard. It is what they look like. They look ugly. The situation became critical. People were dying in shocking numbers. 2,000 kids, can you imagine, every day dying, it was awful. So we, we had to do something. We couldn't stand by idly. They were suffering from a protein deficiency a disease called Kwashiorkor. And Vietnam and Biafra also were the two first television wars in history. Joint Church Aid International was created. Kenya Relief was a part of a much larger mission known as Joint Church Aid, fondly called Jesus Christ Airlines. They had to fly at night. It was either that or get shot down by the Nigerian forces. Just over 50 years ago, a group of people came together and pulled off the largest non-governmental war relief efforts in history. And this is just the beginning. Stay tuned. <laughs>